Why you should focus on improving woodworking make money. Have you ever found yourself wishing for unique pieces to adorn your house with? What about wishing that you were able to take care of the reparations of your house? Well, you can certainly do those things by picking up woodworking. This is a craft that has withstood the test of time, as it has been around since primitive eras. While the goal of woodworking has not changed much, the way it carried out has changed drastically. Gone are the times when our ancestors used items like antlers or bones as tools. Nowadays, hand tools such as hammers and saws have made woodworking much more convenient and easier. Moreover, there are also machines that you can purchase, which will help you to save the effort required. If you are a beginner who just started on woodworking, then you should stick to hand tools first, before you are sure that you would like to invest in a good machine. This is also the first thing you should do before you make any attempt to cut and put together pieces of wood. Of course, this is not the only thing that you should do before you begin on your first woodworking project, since you will also need to read up and learn more about woodworking techniques and skills. As you practice and create more projects, you will be able to hone your skills as a woodworker. If you are someone who believes in doing what you love, you can even make woodworking your career. While there are some who question the profitability of crafting wood into furniture and small items for sale due to the prevalence of large factories nowadays, woodworking remains to be a good business idea. Moreover, you will be able to be your own boss and create your very own designs. If you are interested in woodworking, be sure to read on and find out more about this craft. What is woodworking? Having your own home, as compared to renting a house or a condo unit, offers a lot of advantages. However, there would be times when parts of your home may look a little worn out in need of a makeover. It could be that your cabinet needs to have a few repairs done or the door of your room needs to be replaced. When it is time to take care of these things, you may quickly reach out to grab your wallet or your bank book to check if you have enough money to purchase new items. However, there is nothing to worry about even if you do not have enough money, since you can always do some woodworking around your house, so you won't have to spend a lot of cash to do a makeover for your house. If you are not very familiar with what woodworking is all about, it is time that you learn more about it so that you will be able to do the repairs around your house personally. If you do that, then you will be able to save a lot of money. Apart from that, you can also derive a lot of satisfaction from it since seeing your own work would simply be priceless. Woodworking is simply a craft which it involves the construction of certain objects with the use of wood. There are a lot of projects that you can achieve with woodworking, and it can range from a simple cabinet repair to a more elaborate construction project, such as a large door and a fence in your backyard. With woodworking, you will be able to build different types of household materials without the need to hire a carpenter. You can build certain things that you need around your house, with just the use of wood and other construction materials. This will save you a lot of money, since you will only need to purchase the raw materials. For example, if you build your own chair, and compare it to other chairs in the market, you will find that the price difference can get quite huge. To getting started with woodworking wood, you will be required to put in some time and effort to pick up the skills. However, in return, you will find that woodworking brings out the best in you and helps you to become a more productive person, especially during weekends. Learn the ropes of woodworking soon, so that you will be able to do the repairs around your house yourself. With that, you would not just be able to impress yourself with your work, but also your wife and your kids. How to get started with woodworking There are a lot of advantages one can gain from woodworking. If you have just decided to venture into the world of woodworking, you have made the right decision. This is because with woodworking, you no longer have to purchase certain things needed for your house. Aside from that, there is nothing that can be compared to the satisfaction you would feel when you see the project that you have just completed. However, before you begin, you should be aware that woodworking involves a number of requirements. Although it is a simple skill that you can pick up through self-study, you will need to have the right tools, as well as the resources to get started on the right foot. Acquiring the right woodworker's tools is essential, especially when you are still a beginner at woodworking. This is because the tools are one of the factors that would determine the quality of the finished product in your woodworking project. Apart from that, proper tools would also facilitate a smoother process which would also prevent accidents that cause minor bruises and wounds. 
Without the right types of tools, you may also have to spend more time in getting your project done. Some of the very basic tools you will need with woodworking are the hammer, saw, nails, and the tape measure. There are various types of hammers available in the market these days. When you choose one, it has to be of the right size and weight, which feels the most comfortable for you. You should not choose a very light hammer, since you may not be able to generate enough power from it. A hammer that weighs around 20 ounces would be pretty ideal. It would be best for the hammer to be equipped with a smooth and rounded head. Make sure as well that its handle is designed for you to have a good grip of it. Not only will this make it easier for you to work with wood, it will also allow you to avoid accidents. A tape measure should be another one of the first things that you need to acquire in getting started with woodworking. The tape measure would help ensure that the length of the woods and other materials you are going to use are in place. Make sure that the tape measure you are going to buy is retractable and is equipped with a lock. This way, you would not deal with a lot of difficulties in measuring things, and you would not need to have a partner to help you in doing it. Nails are also essential in any project. When you select nails, make sure that you consider the size and the thickness of the wood that you are going to use for your project. This will allow you to buy nails with the appropriate length. These are some of the tools that you need to get started with woodworking. Don't forget that you can also acquire a woodworking guide online so that you will have something to refer to as you learn the ropes of working with wood. Can woodworking earn you a decent income? Many people are now getting involved with woodworking because of the many benefits it brings. If you are able to equip yourself with woodworking skills, you will soon be able to make your own furnishings instead of spending more money on ready-made items. With that, you would be able to save a lot of money. On top of that, when you build your own furniture, you will also be able to create unique pieces that will add a tinge of personality to your own house. Furthermore, when you get the hang of it, you may even make a decent income out of woodworking. There are some who are now able to derive substantial amounts of cash through woodworking. This is because a lot of people these days prefer handmade products that are more personalized over those made in factories. Apart from that, these handmade items are also more likely to cost less. The reason behind why products you see in malls and other stores are priced higher than handmade items is that the manufacturers have to recover their overhead expenses of producing them. Furthermore, if the manufacturers do not own the stores where their products are displayed and sold, then the part of their revenue from the sale of their products will still have to be deducted. Have some sort of blueprint, which you can refer to, so that you will be able to work on a good number of projects, which you can use as samples of your work. Let your imagination run free and come up with fresh ideas for your woodworking projects. If you are having difficulty, you may also refer to books that contain ideas for projects. You should not copy ideas as they are to create pieces for sale. Instead, modify them to make them your own designs. When you have just started making woodworking your career, it would be best for you to start off with simple designs as they are likely to cost less and also give you the least trouble when you are constructing them. For one, you may want to try making custom shelves. These will always be in demand because shelves are a great way to organize things. People who are looking for ways to save space in their house will definitely consider shelves an inexpensive solution. As such, you will be more likely to get customers. Once you have made a good number of samples of your work, the next best thing you have to do is to make people aware of your business. Tell your friends about it so that they can help to spread the word. Going online is also a good idea which will allow you to extend your reach to more people. In conclusion, you will certainly enjoy woodworking if you like letting your imagination run free and working on projects to spruce up your home. Whenever you return to your home, you will be greeted by all of your creations. You can even rest in the chair you made personally in front of the fireplace during cold winter evenings. These pieces which are made with love will definitely warm your family and you up. If you would like to share your love for these handmade pieces of furniture, you can also make woodworking your career. After all, what is better than doing what you love? Moreover, it will also allow you to earn sufficient amounts of money. If you have not tried out woodworking, what are you still waiting for? Head on down to a hardware store or shop online today for your tools and get started now.